I think. Good morning, hello and welcome. My husband's just decided to turn on the mower, so I don't know if he'll ride away into the sunset, hopefully, or I'll have to do another voiceover. But I'm thinking of doing combing effect, so I'm not sure if I use that one, that one, or this one, or I might try all three. Usually these different tools in your artwork can create some lovely effects. So, without further ado, I'm going to just do round my edges with the white. All the paint is with pouring medium. All the instructions for if you're a beginner is in the drop down box in the beginners, um, beginners, what you call it, playlist. <laughs> so, I think I'll do like ribbons across and see how it looks with all my colours that I've got that I'm going to put in it. So hopefully it's very simple, simple pimple. I've got this lovely metallic um, lavender mixed up here. So I'm going to, like I said, just do ribbons down it. So hopefully when the comb goes through it, it gives a lovely effect. Lovely lilacs. That's really sparkly, that lilac. And I'm thinking I'm going to put some of my Berry Delicious, which is um, like a dark purple. This actually looks, let me see if I've got it right. It actually looks like navy black, but Oh, I'm not sure now if that's my mixing it up in there. I'll go with the purple. I'll just leave that there. That seems to be very runny, so I'm not, it's not floating my boat. There's the purple. That's it. Purple lovers, for sure. It's quite relaxing to do this, actually. Lovely, and I've got this, this is a metallic rose that I kind of made up out of a bit of this and a bit of that, but I added some of the iridescent medium, which I just bought from my discount stop shop. You can add it to any acrylic paint um, that's not metallic and it will send it metallic because it's, yeah, it's got that iridescent medium, so it ends up all sparkly. So I'll put the rose in as well. I think it will go lovely with those colours. So it is a very simple one. I'm not sure whether I go a dark colour in there. It's what this one is let's see yeah maybe a bit of that just a dark color might make it pop even more i think this is my black navy <laughs> not the other one that's quite nice nice very nice so i think i might just tilt it the same way to run over the edges so I'll get the nice edges. I don't actually want to tilt it the other way. I just want to tilt it backwards and forwards so it doesn't go in wavy lines too much. I know you think, oh, there's a lot of paint wasted over there, but you can also scrape your paint up after you've finished off your bottom sheet and scrape it into a cup and reuse it so it's not really any big problem what I do like to do is recenter my paint when I've been tilting so I'll recenter it that's actually quite nice <laughs> as it is as it is so let's try I, I'm not I think 
this was a, like a hair comb for doing colouring but I'll just maybe start with this one see what we do oh it does leave a nice effect oh look do. at that oh it does leave a nice effect oh look at that wow 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 oh should I try the other one or try the other one here I hope it gives such a nice effect as that yeah it does it just um actually does a final lot actually it's collecting the paint that's probably not so good because it started off really well but because it's only fine tooth it's collecting the paint so maybe I'll try the the bigger teeth these are all very cheap tools to buy this one I think was actually a cake decorating tool from just the charity shop that one's a nice one too but I really love this Nitty Nora the Bug Explorer comb so I wish I hadn't have gone the fine tooth there but let's try this in there see if it will bring back some lines no I think I've missed the opportunity there too fine but I do like this that's really nice oh look at that beautiful now i wish i'd done it all along so so goes for experimenting you see you're experimenting but the next time i think i'd use the whole time that co so it obviously needs the one with bigger deeper wider teeth love that i don't want to actually move that anywhere so what could i do at the top to sort of ooh, if i tilt oh, 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 i might lose all my nice shapes let's risk it for a swiss kit i can always oh i don't want to lose the lovely shape i have in this side Maybe when it's dry, maybe I can paint a band around the top. Mmm. I love that. See, I, that's not turned out so good at all. So I wonder if a little chain pull through that other bit might bring up something nice in it. Love that, don't love this. So trying to rescue it. I don't know, it might make a mess, so let's see, oops, if a chain might pull the colours through a bit better, knowing that all the colours are under there. Sort of got quite lost because there's um, a lot of paint on there but that doesn't look so bad let me try this side ooh, ooh. remember you know it's good to experiment even if these pieces you don't end up selling you know are you gift or you can scrape your paint into a container after they don't work out well and restart again that don't look so good now. I've really kind of, um, I think it still looks better than what it did before because they were all sort of munched into each other. Let's see. Balloon kisses to the rescue. Oh yes, yes, because it looks like a little flower garden. So just pushing this little potato of a balloon in there. Might rescue it a little bit just bring in some of those lovely colors that we know are already there they bring the colors up so it had the comb technique now the balloon kisses you have to just try experiment it, it's absolutely fine oh that is so nice now I want to just roll to soften off my edges 
I think that looks all right. It's not really putting a balloon kiss into it, it's just sort of bringing the edges over the edge, which is what I wanted to do. Probably looks odd because got that there and that there, but remember it's experimental to see. So next time I do this, I will do that wide cone because that looks very nice. So I'm just using my balloon to take it over the edge. I can paint around the very edge of the canvas black when it's all dry. So it kind of softens it up, finishes off the edges of my canvas a little bit nicer. I think that's unusual. It was a test, remember, but I love that side and um, it don't look so bad. Okay, I'm changing it up. I decided afterwards, no, I, I didn't, I wasn't happy with it. And I can just scrape it because it was a test and there's not too much paint. But I decided to do these uh, little blowouts on it and I absolutely love it. So I hope you do too. So keep watching for more.